Well, drones are helping scientists collect more accurate data on different endangered species like turtles. Jeremy Roth shows you how it's helping with their discovery and research. You are looking at 64,000 green turtles nesting on Australia's Great Barrier Reef. How do we know how many? drones. In a newly published study, scientists who are tracking the endangered populations say they owe their most accurate assessments to the use of unmanned aerial vehicles. Initially, researchers tried tracking the turtles by marking their shells with a stripe of non-toxic paint and came away with inaccurate counts. In seeking to help the endangered turtles, the teams found drones to provide much more accurate population surveys, the potential for future automation of such practices, and let's face it, gorgeous imagery to boot. From the sea to the air, another Australian study reveals that an ultra-rare nocturnal breed of parrot may not actually be able to see well in the dark. The study tracked the elusive night parrot and found that despite being primarily active in the dark, its vision is similar to that of daytime parrots, which is not great. In fact, they believe the fact that the night parrot isn't adapted to nightlife could be contributing to its critically endangered status. And now to Fox News. Uh, news about a fox, that is. Scottish firefighters helped free a curious baby fox that got stuck in a rusty wheel. Foxes are known to be a noticeable part of British urban wildlife, but scenes like this are not uncommon almost anywhere. In January, California firefighters helped with one. A puppy got its head stuck in a wheel and was freed using cutting equipment. The fox was also cut loose and thankfully, like its canine counterpart, was uninjured. For Take a Look at This, I'm Jeremy Roth. <laughs>